Hello, I'm Marilyn Anderson, and today is June 3rd, 1776. Faced with the imminent attack by the British on the city of Charleston, Colonel William Moultrie vows to make the best defense I can with what I have. Colonel Moultrie was put in charge of establishing a fort on Sullivan's Island off the coast of Charleston, but when he got there, he found there wasn't any stone with which to build the walls. So he took palmetto logs and, placing them parallel, 16 feet apart, made a double-walled fort. He filled that gap with sand. On June 28th, when the British attacked, the British warship's cannon volley landed with a thud against the spongy palmetto walls, and the city of, Gal city of Charleston was saved. Uh, Moultrie became a national hero. He was promoted to Brigadier General, his troops were made part of the Continental Army, and Fort Sullivan became Fort Moultrie. Four years later, in 1780, Charleston was again under siege by the British. This time they weren't so lucky. And against Moultrie's protestations against surrendering the city, the British were victorious. Moultrie was taken a prisoner of war and was in captivity for two years until uh, 1780 when independence was won. Later on he served in the South Carolina legislature, was lieutenant governor, and ultimately became the 35th governor of South Carolina. Moultrie's victory at Sullivan's Island became uh, a watchword and a symbol for the state of South Carolina. It even figures in their state flag. They took Moultrie's regimental flag that he himself designed. It was a blue flag with a white crescent and they added a figure of the palmetto tree to celebrate his victory at Sullivan's Island, at Moultrie's Island. This is June 3rd, 1776 and we're on the road to 1776.